Hello and welcome to today's class. For today, we are still continuing on the equilibrium of particles concept. Um, for this question here, it says determine the required length of chord AC, that's length of chord AC, um, in the figure below, so that the 8 kilogram lamp, that's this, is suspended in the position shown, that's this. The unstretched length of spring AB, that's unstretched length of spring AB, is equal to 0 0.4 meters. And the spring has a stiffness of um, 300 newton per meter. All right, let's get out parameters. Um, unstretched length of AB, um, okay, maybe we'll just recall the values as we keep solving. So your first task, as always, when it comes to equilibrium of particles, is to draw out the free body diagram, which is the diagram that shows you all the forces acting on that particle or that system. For this case, here, I'm having this spring here. I'm having this one here. Also having this. Of course, for this one here, the way to act here, for this one will be a tension, TAC. For this one too, also a tension, TAB. Before we consider this, the, what do you call it, the uh, spring constant, the, the, the tension on either a, the force on either a spring or a string, all right, spring, that's this, or a string, that's a rope, is called tension. So whether it's a, it's a spring or it's a string, uh, put them on tensions. All right, so hence, I'm having tension this way, tension this way, weight this way. All right, so I have this for my free body diagram. I have a tension there. This is tension from A to B. So T A B. I'll have weight coming downwards. Um, weight W, which equal to um, weight equal to this times 9.81. So 8 times 9.81. That's about weight is equal to 8 times 9.81. That's convert the mass to weight. What about 9.81? That's about 78.48 Newton. Alright, so weight um, 78.48 Newton. Also, I have this one going up like this. Um, so at this point, I should be having T from A to C. That's T A C. So I have T A C here, yeah? which is this. Alright. I will set this angle here. Excuse me. This angle here is about 30 degrees. Alright, so at this point, you should know what to do. Take summation of vertical forces, horizontal forces, and do your thing. So I'm going to call this shot. So summation sigma fx, summation of horizontal forces, should be equal to zero. If the force is pointing in this direction, it should be positive. Alright, so what do we have? Summation of vertical force, this one is going this way, that's positive TAB. Okay, this one here is not a horizontal force. Alright, this summation of horizontal forces, alright, equal to zero. So, that means. so here is a horizontal force going in the same direction, so it's positive. I will resolve this one this way. Of course, if this one comes here to point it this way, so it becomes negative TAC. Resolving this because cos 30 is equal to zero. So I have this one here. Call this your first equation from the resolution of horizontal forces. Next up, let me resolve vertical forces. So summation of vertical forces, Fy, is equal to zero. If it is going upwards, it should be positive. All right. This is coming downwards, so it's negative. This one here is not even horizontal. It's not even vertical, so it's off. I'll have to resolve this one this way. So it becomes TAC sine of the angle. So it becomes TAC sine 30. That's this one being resolved vertically. Of course, it's going upward, so it becomes positive. W is coming downwards, so it becomes minus 78.48 equal to 0. So if you want, you can say minus W and do your summing. But I'm going straight to the point. From here, I'm having that T A C sin 30 is equal to this one comes here becomes positive 78.48. Let's get T A C. I'll have to divide here 
by sine 30 divided by sine 30 to get GC. Alright, so if I do that, um, so let's say let's say space. Uh, let me get down this equation first. This equation says T A B. So T A B uh, minus T A C sine cos T A C cos 30 is equal to zero. That's my first equation. Alright, um, so let's solve this one here. So what do we have? Alright, so from here, this can cancel this. So it means that TAC, TAC is equal to 78.48, 78 78.48, uh, 78.48 all over sine 30. That's about 156, 156 points. 96 newton. Alright. Alright, so put put TAC, put this value of TAC into equation 1. Alright, so from this I'll have that TAB is equal to now because minus TAC, if I move this minus TAC this way, it becomes positive. So that becomes TAC cos 30. Hence, TAB is equal to TAC is 156.96 cos 30. So TAB is equal to 156.96 cos 30. That's about 135.93 all right. So with this, we've gotten T. With this now, with this now, we've gotten T A B. T A B has been equal to one three five point nine three newton. We've gotten T A C to be equal to one five six point nine six newton. All right. So let's continue. Okay, so we've got the value of TAB and TAC. Uh, the next tax here says, now if you look at the question again, it says the unstretched length of the spring AB. So AB, for, for there to be an unstretched length, that means since this is a spring here, yeah, this, this um, length AB will be stretched. Of course, springs can easily um, expand and compress at will. Alright? Um, so in that case, they've given you an unstretched length of the string. Let's call this, let's call the unstretched length. Let's call the unstretched unstretched length of A B. Let's call it um, L A B prime. From our question here it says the unstretched length is 0 0.4 meter. Okay? So if the unstretched length is 0 0.4 meter, how do we get the stretched length? Of course, if I have an unstretched length. The stretched length becomes the normal length, which is unstretched, plus the extension. All right. Of course, it is a spring here yeah, from um, Hooke's law. From Hooke's law, we said force is directly proportional to what extension. From here, you can have F equal to KE. This concept is from Hooke's law that the force on the spring, or the tension in this case on the spring is equal to the spring constant times the extension. So from this now, we cannot get the extension in, in um, spring AB. When we combine this extension with the original length, we now have the stretch length. All right, so let's get from which stop. Recall from which stop. From Hooke's law, what do we have? We have that um, T, I'm using tension here, yeah? tension in AB is equal to K AB times the extension. Uh, let's use E, it's an extension in AB, so I have this. Let's get the extension. Hence, from here, divide here by K AB, divide here by K 
AB, I'll get the extension in AB. So therefore, extension in AB is equal, that's AB, is equal to TAB, tension in AB, 135.9 all over KAB, spring constant, that's 300. If I work on this, I'm having, uh, let me punch my calculator, 135, 135.93 divided by 300. This gives me 0 0.4531. Of course, we're using meters, so meters. So therefore, the stretched length the stress length of AB, that's LAB, is equal to the unstretched length of AB plus the extension of AB. And that's equal to unstretched length is 0 0.4 in meters plus the extension here is 0 0.4531. So LAB is equal to 0 0.8531 meters. So we've got the value of LAB. So we have to find in the question here, we have to find from there, determine the required length of chord AC. Alright? Determine the required length of chord AC um, so that this one here will be suspended as shown below. So let's get the value of AC. That's not the value of AC. How do we get AC? Of course, these two meters should be equal to AB, length of AB plus length of AC. But is it problem? In this case, AC is not lying horizontally. It's being inclined at an angle. So that means if I want to make this one here lie horizontally, so that I'm not having a total horizontal straight line, for it to be equal to 2. That means I have to resolve this length to this way. So hence, my total length 2 will be equal to the length of AB from here to here, or B in whichever one, plus the resolved length, the resolved horizontal length. That becomes LAC cos. I'm resolving horizontally, so to be a straight line, cos of the angle effect. Alright, so let's get this one. Um, so the, the, let's, before that, let's get L, see LAB is equal to 0 0.8531 meters. Okay. All right. So let's get this done. Um, so we said, therefore, total length, total length is equal to length of AB plus length of AC um, AC cos 30 so I will explain why this is cos right, the total length from here to here is 2 so 2 is equal to length of AB from here to here which we got as 0.8 5, 3, 1, plus. Now, we should just have length of AC. But AC is inclined to an angle. It's not perfectly horizontal. So what do we do? We resolve this one horizontally and use the value. So resolving this horizontally becomes cos of this angle. Because LAC, LAC cos 30. Alright. So bring this one over here. 2 minus 0. Point. 8531 is equal to so this plus comes and becomes minus is equal to LAC cos 30. If I subtract this uh, 2 minus 0 0.8531, I have 1.1469 is equal to LAC cos 30. To get LAC, divided by cos 30, divided by 
cause that this causes this. Some method LEC. Therefore, LEC is equal to 1.1.1469 divided by cos 30. That's about 1.32 in two decimal places meters. So I'm having this as 1.32 meters. So therefore, the, the requirement of, of, of this string AC that will keep this 8 kilogram lamp in equilibrium or in this position is 1.32 meters. Alright, so uh, this is how we solve this question.